It is the 18th of the 12th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. I just want to get a little heads up. Uh, the the double piece sculpture is in the mail. It's on its way. It should be delivered a day or two after Christmas. So uh, heads up for that. Over to SOT.net. Ecuador issues orange alert. The second uh, the second highest warning level for towns near uh, Tangura Hu volcano, and that's the one that's been erupting all year, very, very extensively. Uh, earthquake magnitude 6.1 strikes off the coast of Indonesia, another very active zone. East and west coast of the United States hit by near simultaneous winter storms. Snowstorms forecast for parts of New England and the Northwest. Uh, we are gearing up here in the Midwest uh, for the big storm tomorrow. We're supposed to get uh, some uh, respectable snow anyway. It'll be our first respectable snow this year. Heavy snow blankets, Iranian cities. This story was back on the 16th, and I guess it's just winter wonderland everywhere. Uh, leaking barge spilled fuel oil in New York City waterway. Uh, they actually have reports out where the, the the Coast Guard has doctored some of the photographs of this spill, you know, made it darker, uh, the photograph darker, so you can't see the oil so much and the fuel in the water kind of thing. And over to the extinction protocol. Magma agitation under Indonesia's Mount Lokon volcano erupts 800 times since July. Nepal, latest region of the planet, warned of growing risk, growing risk of overdue mega earthquakes. Well, I guess everybody's overdue, aren't they? East and west coast of the U.S. hit by near simultaneous winter storms, of course. Uh, hundreds of tourists trapped in Fiji as monster cyclone bears down on South Pacific Islands. Another big storm out there has been going on for quite a while. And of course the war drums are going on in Syria, Turkey, that kind of thing. Over to the RSOE quick. Uh, they got a severe snowstorm going off in the Ukraine area. Uh, of course the tropical storm in the Fiji area. Big snowstorm in Canada, New Brunswick, southern region. Uh, we had a tornado report in South Carolina, Laurel Bay. Apparently a tornado touched down in military housing. That really touched a spot for me. That's uh, that's where I was a little kid. I was a Marine Corps brat. And I started elementary school in Laurel Bay, Beaufort, South Carolina. Uh, storm surge reports out of Canada, province of British Columbia. And a nuclear event in the state of Pennsylvania, Salem. Uh, the Susquehanna Nuclear Power Plant... Uh, shut itself down all by itself, and uh, they're still not really sure why. Over to the nuclear stuff, e, e News report black substance with over 400 million becquerels per kilogram of cesium found in Fukushima. What is this mysterious black substance? Open incinerators, I wonder. Government experts no knowledge of what state melt or what state melted fuel is in at Fukushima plant. Don't know where it's located. A persistent danger surrounds reactors. Collapses of facilities are a threat. And we already know it's already melted through containment and into the environment that's below the actual power plant and seeping in directly in to the Pacific Ocean. Photographs doctored in multiple U.S. nuclear power plants. Videos out on that. Arnie Gunderson, top of containment, believed to have opened up after Fukushima Daiichi Unit Number Three exploded. Yeah, did you see that explosion? <laughs> New Fairwinds video. Tepco reveals detonation shockwave during massive explosion at Fukushima Number Three. And that's again where they're saying, yeah, they blew the top off the damn thing. WSJ, use of internet was forbidden during Japanese campaign. No tweeting, Facebook, websites updated by candidates. <sighs> Shocking. Officials make it mandatory to use Fukushima rice in school lunches. It's mandatory. 
They're going to spread the pain and spread the pain. And when the legalities come later on in the next year or two, five, ten years down the road, they're going to say, hey, look, you know, everybody's insane. These people are truly, truly evil. They need to shut down every single nuclear power plant in the world. They are a crime against humanity. Uh, Kaku, Fukushima reactors, quote, a ticking time bomb, catastrophe beyond comprehension, if major pipe or break or quake, and again, there are already severely damaged buildings in a highly ra uh, radioactive earthquake zone, <coughs> and uh, they have everything completely under control, of course. And let me try to get down to uh, some of the sinkhole stuff. <laughs> Gunderson on new video. We now have the evidence that Fairwinds was right. Contaminants can blow up. <laughs> or containments can blow up. Um, and I've already reported on this last one. Uh, Fears Napoleon's salt dome will continue to break up below the giant sinkhole in Louisiana. An underground Mount Everest. Over 50 caverns inside, some with explosives, uh, the fracking, chemical runoff. There's all kinds of crap that they didn't even have to report in these 50 some odd caverns. In this one salt dome alone. So uh, there it is. Enjoy what you can, everybody. I am. Thanks.